Explanation. I might have done little things. So, I think we're definitely going to need a part one and part two for this. We got a lot of clothes from Shein. Y'all already know what the deal is. Let's get into this haul because do y'all see this? I'm, I'm really like, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. It's a lot. So, let's get into it. <laughs> Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Drew, and I'm back today with another video. So, as I see from the time below, once again, we are back with another Shein haul. And this time, I don't even know if there's a theme to this haul. I was buying things for a homecoming and for a wedding. So there's a whole lot, a whole lot in this one. Right before we hop into this haul, I just let y'all know, if you don't already know, if you're new to this channel, I am a Shein Campus Ambassador. So I have a code to share with y'all so y'all can save coins on every Shein purchase that y'all make. This code is actually not a coupon code. It's actually a reference code. So you're actually able to stack this coupon which you can't stack regular coupons so you're already at extra savings so you're able to use my coupon along with any other coupons that Shein has along with the Shein wallet all that sort of stuff to get the best savings i'm going to put the code on the screen right now it's also going to be in the description box below also with a link to a video if you don't know how to add the reference code to your page but my reference code is 39248s us 39248s so make sure you add that to your account. It's going to work every single time that you purchase something. You won't even have to think about it every single time once you attach it to your account. You're good. And then you can use any other coupon codes on top of that to maximize your savings. So that's just a little thank you from me to y'all so you can save coins and look stylish while you add it. But let's get right into the video. We're going to start off. I'm going to put the videos of me trying that on over here at the side. And if you see me looking down, that's because I'm looking to make sure I'm telling y'all the right thing. But the first thing that I got is actually this, I don't even know, they call it floral and paisley print, not front wide leg pants. They're really cute, y'all. This kind of reminds me of the trend a few years ago where people were in like the Aztec looking pants, wide leg, and it was a really cute trend that I never really hopped on. And I'm not sure if the pants are completely, completely in trend, but you don't gotta be in trend to wear a fit. That's what I do know. Y'all ain't finna tell me where I'm gonna put my money and where I'm not gonna put my money. That's one thing about it. If I wanna spend my money, I still wanna spend my money on something. But I think these sets are really cute, especially with the extra detail of the belt in the front. I think it accentuates your curves really nice. And even if you feel like you may not have curves or you may not have a smaller waist or anything like that, because it does have that tie right there, it's one able to mask any any belly issues or anything like that any insecurities in your midsection region and that belt also gives the illusion that there is a smaller waist there so i think it'll be really nice on anybody's shape and it's really cute i think because of all the colors in the pants you can you can pair this with a lot of different types of tops you could do like a white top you could do a black top you could do a yellow top you could do a pink top you could do a blue top there's lots of colors in this that you can pick and play on in order to have like a different sort of vibe with it every single time that you wear it. But I do think it's really cute and it's more dressier. It can, you could actually do it for like brunch or you could even do it for a night out with the girls. It's really cute. And those pants don't have any issues with um, seeing through or anything like that. It's solid, you're, you're straight. Now the next pair of pants that I have, these ones are striped high waist flare leg pants, same vibe but these ones have just different colors in it. To me, it gives the style of like something 70s-ish, something like more go-go style to me. But the reason why I got these is because for this haul, I was buying things for my homecoming, if you know, go dogs, I go to UGA. So I didn't know what type of pants I wanted to wear. This was a backup option for clothes just in case it was too cold. And I was like, okay, let me get something with red in it because the other pants are cute. However, 
if I'm trying to be school pride, let me get something with red. So that's how I got this. They are cute. I will say the only difference in between these pants and the other one is yes, there is no knot or tie in the front, but that's not a complete issue. Since it is a patterned pant, it already masks some of the insecurities and all that. And since the lines are going up and down, that gives the illusion of a slimmer body and longer. So you shouldn't really have any issues that way. But I will say my biggest issue with these pants is that they are a little see-through. So I will be, you would have to be a little bit more intentional with, with, under, with what undergarments you decide to wear with this one. But other than that, they're still really cute. Um, not completely my style, I will say that. I did step out of my comfort zone wearing it because like I said, it gives the style of like 70s go girl to me. But I got a lot of compliments on the pants in the end run when I wore it. So they are still really cute. It's just, I didn't believe in the style at first, but I was to suggest that, like I said, the only issue is that it is a little see-through, but other than that, they're really cute pants. Now, the next thing I got are these leather shorts. Y'all, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what possessed me to get some leather shorts, because if you know me, if you've seen my body before, I don't really mess with wearing shorts. I like shorts. However, it's really risky to wear shorts for me. But I saw this one girl wear shorts one time when I went out and I said leather shorts I went out one time and I was like, you know what? She's rocking those leather shorts. So that's why I bought it. I'm not even gonna lie to you. She wore them and she made me hop right on over it to buying them. And I will say, I really do like them. I wore them, they're really nice. They, because of the way that they fit on my body, they don't necessarily ride up too much or anything like that. They are very short, like they do cut off like right at your, like right at the bottom of your butt cheek. So it doesn't really give the loose vibe as I saw on the model, but I kind of knew that going into it. When you know your body, you know that things won't look the same on you as they do on a model. So I kind of already expected that coming into it, but they are really cute. I like the added belt because with this paper bag type of pants, sometimes I feel like it could give you like a larger pooch sort of section. And I don't really mess with that too, too much. But since you have the belt there, it adds a little bit more to like disguise that section, give people's eyes something else to look at instead of the extra fabric that's right there. But I think it's really cute, especially with the paper bag look, it helps accentuate your curves or it gives the illusion of you having curves if you don't feel like you have it. So I would suggest for y'all to hop on the leather short trend. And I need some more people to show me how to style it because you see that next, I struggled with trying to style these. I knew I liked them. I just couldn't tell what top to wear with it. So the next thing that you're gonna see is this houndstooth print bandana. So it's meant <laughs> to wear as a scarf. However, in my mind, I wanted to wear it as a top, but I couldn't figure out how to tie it or anything like that. So you'll see me mess around with the idea of that. But if you do decide to get this, I will say it is a very long one. So you can definitely wear it as a shirt and you can tie it in some different ways, not a whole lot because it's not that long but you do have a few options with wearing it. And it also depends on how big you are. It's only one size because it's not meant to wear as a shirt. It's meant to wear for your hair. But you know, when you put fits together, it, they, they not gonna tell you how to wear something, okay? If it's a scarf, we wear it as a shirt. If it's a shirt, we gonna wear it as a scarf. If it's a dress, we gonna wear it as a skirt. You, you never know. So I will say if you are looking for something that you can wear as a shirt, like a silky sort of vibe, this would be really cute. I didn't end up wearing this one in the long run just because I don't really know, honestly. I couldn't, I wasn't, I wasn't completely sold on the final look altogether, but yeah. Now the next thing that you're gonna see is same outfit. Don't mind the shirt, the shirt is different. The shirt did not come from Shein. It's actually one of my mom's old scarves that you're gonna see. But I decided to try another pair of shoes from Shein. You know I'm into trying shoes from Shein. And this is actually from one of their new lines that they're doing. This is their, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but Kuko, Kuko? 
I don't know. But it's their new slip on sock sort of boot collection. This one has the chunky heel and it just comes up right to your mid half. I thought it'd be really cute because y'all have heard me say this before. I blame my daddy for giving me some thicker calves. So sometimes I'm not able to wear certain boots. I love the knee high boot style, but like my calves just don't allow boots to come up. But with this stretchier sock sort of vibe, I was still able to get the look that other, that I wouldn't be able to get if it was something else or like a zip up. And y'all, I really did like this. I was, I was wavering back and forth on it, especially with the type of heel. I didn't know if I wanted to get the stiletto or the block or what, but I really ended up liking it. And y'all, I actually wore this out to a party. I wore this during homecoming to a party and it wasn't terrible. Now I was I added in the little ball, the ball of foot gel pads inside the shoe, which could have also helped with the comfort. But overall, like I was able to wear it to the party the whole night, dancing, jumping around, running, and it was perfectly fine. So I would suggest them, but just know yourself when it comes to heels. If you're not a heel girl, don't do it. One thing that I say is my mama didn't raise a girl that can't wear heels. So when I go out, I don't like to take off my heels. I'll wear like a shoe going to the place and I'll wear a shoe once I get back in the car. But once I'm at a place, I'm gonna wear my heels the whole time. So just just be aware of that just know how you are with heels but i will say i really did like it they're cute sometimes that i've seen looking at other people's sock heels i've noticed that sometimes you can the heel part looks completely different than the sock part and it just doesn't give a uniform sleek look but this one i feel like gave a uniform sleek look it was really cute so i suggest them i still have them i love them i just need to find more ways to wear them they're really cute <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry if the angle just changed. The battery died, so I had to switch out the battery, but we're back to it. <laughs> the next thing I got was this off the shoulder bodysuit, like I said. I got this bodysuit because I was trying to replace one that I've had for years since I've been in high school that is now getting a little too tight. And it's okay, I can't return it. I will say I want to return it, but I can't return it because of the type of thing that it is to Shein. But um, it is cute, however, and, and it fits fine. It fits good and it's cute. I will say that just to put that out there. But it didn't necessarily serve the purpose I wanted to serve. I want this to be something to also be able to wear to work. And I feel like I could. However, the ruffles on it don't come as far down as the one that I originally had. And that was the vibe and style that I was looking for. Because I'm as I'm working, I don't want like my boobs out. Even though the boobs won't be out because it's all covered. But just this one didn't come down far enough. I wish that the ruffles were longer and flowed a little bit more. Other than that, it is really cute. It fits fine. It's a good basic staple to have in your closet, but it just didn't serve the purpose that I was necessarily looking for. So if you are someone with a bigger chest or anything like that, I will say the ruffles probably won't come all the way down to cover all of that. But other than that, it is cute. It's just, it just didn't serve the purpose that I was looking for. It didn't give what it was supposed to have given. <laughs> now we're gonna get into the section of this haul that's all the wedding dresses and all that sort of stuff. So this first dress is this crisscross backless bodycon dress. Y'all, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm keeping it. It has this nice sort of fabric to it that reminds me sort of like velvet or suede so it's really cute it's really elegant i feel like you could wear it out to dinner i feel like you could wear it out in general not casual like but like if you're going out on a night out on the town or something i think it's really cute it i will say it is very body kind and very which i mean is what it is and it fits to your body so if you're someone who wants something looser this isn't going to be for you but it isn't tight to where like you can't walk or anything you can see on the bottom of my legs like it gives you some room for your body to move around and about okay so now this next dress is this ruched cami looking dress it's really cute it gives you a lot of adjustable well not really a lot but the um shoulders are adjustable the straps are adjustable so yeah, but I will say you probably will need someone to help you with that just so you can get a nice bow to it. It's an okay dress. It's a nice. I did end up returning it, I will say that, just because I didn't really need 50 million of the same color dress. I was just giving myself options to pick one. Um, and 
something about this just didn't give what it needs to give. It is a wrinkly dress, but I mean, that's just something you just gotta make sure you wash it and iron it to ensure that there are no wrinkles in it or whatever. But it was also a little thin, so it didn't have as much structure as I thought it would have. Like you see the top is built like a bustier and it has those lines in it. However, those lines don't have any like rods or anything in it to give you any sort of structure or hold you in. So it's missing there a little bit and it's also thinner material. So you will have to wear like no show undergarments so that you don't see any lines, no panty lines or anything in the back. But in that, I thought it was a really cute dress. You know, it gave me a little slip of a little knee. It gave me a little ruching so you could get a little bit of leg action. And it's cute, it's just, compared to some of the other dresses that you will see, I wasn't fully sold on this one. But it is cute, I will say that. It's just like I said, it's a little thin and it doesn't give you as much structure as you think it's going to give you but it's still a cute option. Now this next dress is the same type of vibe, but it's off to the shoulder and even a little bit of sheer paneling in the front. Now with this one, I do think that the, like the bustier starter parts, the parts that have the lines, did have a little bit more structure. So it was, it was okay. And it was, it's a cute dress. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm kind of mad that I'm not gonna keep it. I didn't return it, spoiler alert. But something was off about it. Um, I think mainly for me, it was just the bra part of it. That's one big thing that I'm, I've been huge on. When there are outfits that have sectioned off parts for both the boobs, although like, yes, I am not wearing the correct undergarment for this at all, but when I'm when I'm trying on clothes straight out the box that I'm not sure if I'm gonna return or not, I always wear undergarments because they don't get washed when they go back to the warehouse and get sent to another person. I feel like that's really disgusting. If you're trying on clothes, make sure you're wearing undergarments. But um, with this, I felt like the size of my boobs, like it just wasn't gonna fit right. It gave too, because of where the sheerness is, it gives too much up for possibly slipping and things not being placed where they're supposed to be placed at all moments. And I'm not trying not to worry about that, especially with, like I said, I, the purpose of me buying these dresses was to wear for a wedding. And you know, you wanna be able to dance, you wanna be able to move around, you wanna be able to do whatever you have to do without worrying about something popping out or slipping. So yeah, but other than that, like if it was just for like pictures or something, I would wear it. I think it's really cute. It has a lot of structure to it. Um, and I like it. it, it's a really cute dress. So cute that actually, <laughs> the next dress that you're gonna see is the same exact dress, but in green. And once again, I liked it. It's just the same issues where the bra and boob placement wasn't gonna be in the right area. But out of both of them, I would say, I did like the green one a little bit more. Like, I don't know if you could tell that I was smiling a little bit more in it. But the green one, I, I don't know what it was about. I think because of the sheer part, it just wasn't so much night and day with my skin tone. It just meshed very well. But I did also return this one compared to the other green dresses that I had as well. But this one, still really cute. Just something was off about it for me. But I would still, I would I would suggest it. It just wasn't the final one for me. <laughs> so this dress is actually the one that I ended up going with. And I feel like it's very versatile, which is also kind of why I ended up going with it. But it's just a nice body kind. Almost, it's, I think it's more so like a mock turtleneck. Not really a turtleneck, but it comes all the way up to the top of your neck. And it's really cute. Also in the back, it has a split hem in the back. So it gives you a little bit of peekaboo-ish. But I think it's versatile in the way that like you can wear it dressier and you can wear it to like go out to dinner. But I think because of the type of dress it is, it could also be worn in a professional sort of site, in a professional sort of context, which is something I'm really big on now that I am out of college and now that I am in the workforce and working and all that sort of stuff, I like having things that I could wear for both because now I'd be looking in my closet for business casual things to wear and I'm like, I, it, it's just either really casual or party. There's like no in between, which I'm gonna have a haul for that coming up soon because I've got to get my life together. But this one is really cute. I like it. it it, it does have a zip up back, which is what I was most concerned about. 
but it is stretchy. So you, it does have a little give in it, even with the zipper. So you're able to size down a little bit if you're in between size, like how I am. But it's really cute. It is a little bit of tight around the knees, depending on what size you're gonna end up going with, but not tight to the point where like you can't walk around in. So I suggest it, like I said, this is the one that I ended up going with. I think it's really cute. Now this next dress, I will say I didn't end up going with it to wear for the wedding, but I'm keeping it. It is this not shoulder backless mermaid hem formal dress. Y'all, it's really cute. It's really cute. Like if you've seen any other hauls from me, you know I love to sparkle, I love to dazzle. And this one has sparkles, but it's subtle. So it's something that doesn't say, hey, all eyes on me, but it still says, hey, I'm present. Like I put a little bit of effort into my outfit with the sparkles into it. So I'm here for it. Also has the back out, which is really cute. It can be a nice little vibe. For like, like I said, for like a formal event or even out to dinner or something, I think it's really cute. It does go all the way down to the ankles for me. For reference, I'm about five three and a half, five four, depending on the day. But it does go all the way down to my ankles, but it's not tight or anything. It's like there's a lot of room to walk around. It's not constricting. It's not tight on you, anything like that. I think it's really cute. You can adjust the um, the straps as well, which is really nice. It has that crisscross detailing in the back, which I will say would be the only thing that would be hard for me would be trying to get somebody to tie that for me because I'm not sure how I would be able to tie that myself to where it would actually fit correctly. But I do like the idea that it is adjustable. So for people like me that don't have the same size on the top and the bottom, I can adjust the top to fit the way that I need to fit while still having room for the bottom to fit correct. Now, on this note, I did get another very similar dress to it. Another green dress, however, this one has more sparkle to it. So this one is giving more, hey, I'm here, see me. Like, I put a whole lot of effort into this outfit. This could be something that could also be worn for like a New Year's or for like your birthday or something like that. It's definitely main character energy type of dress. Same vibe, but this one gives you a little slit, so it gives you a little peekaboo of the leg, and it's a little bit shorter, so this one you can play with like different types of heels. You could play with like a strappy heel or something like that because it gives you that room compared to the other one that goes all the way down to your ankles. Same vibe, it's still cute, and this one also has an adjustable straps as well, so you're able to adjust the top part to your like to your likeness which I like anything that's adjustable I'm a love because I'm able to fit it to the way that I wanted to fit it and not to the way they think everybody else is gonna fit it so this dress I did also keep not wearing for the wedding but I kept it because I just I couldn't let it go I was like hey why do I need all these sparkles but I'm like hey if you know me you know I love sparkles so I'm gonna find the time to wear it so I think it's really cute. I would suggest it if you're looking for something that says, hey, main character, she's arrived, she's here. And I think it really also complemented my skin color well. Now here's another dress. I am going to return this one as well just because it didn't really fit the way I thought it would fit, but this is just an off the shoulder two-tone dress, which is really cute, I will say that. It's really cute, it has the fabric of like a t-shirt or like a rib knit sort of vibe. So it is stretchy and can form fit to your body. The only issues that I had with it though, was that the, the upper part of it, I just felt like it didn't fit right. Something about it just was a little too loose and I couldn't figure out how to do it. Now I will say that can be easily fixed with a little bit of fashion tape take that goes from your skin to the actual piece of cloth to keep it in place but at the end of the day I just that along with the fabric just coming off a little too casual because it is rib knit I didn't think it really fit the vibe of going to a wedding but it is a cute dress in general I just I don't really know there's something off about it that I didn't really like like you could see a little bit of my boob is just a little bit too much of my boob is out then I would have won it while wearing this dress. But I liked it along with the little, you have the little split in the front, which was also kind of an issue because with the way that my body is set up, 
I have to incorporate, or I have to think about things riding up. And this one does ride up a little bit. And if it rides up too much, you might get a show that I wasn't expecting to give out. <laughs> so I didn't end up going with this one. It is a cute dress, just not for me. Now that's all that I have for the dresses and stuff. Now we're gonna go on to some accessories. The first one is this really cute black purse. Really cute, it has a lot of space. I love the zippers. I love the two side storage. It gave a lot of room for a girl like me who likes big bags, but I wanted to buy something small. I wanted this for homecoming because my bag that I usually wear every single day was starting to break on me. So I needed something quick to wear for homecoming that wouldn't have cost me that much money to, to get because I wanted to replace my original one, but it wasn't gonna get here on time. So with that being said, this purse was really cute. I got a lot of compliments on it. It served its purpose, but it did not make it to the one month mark, I will have to say. That could be on me though, because it may not be an everyday type of purse that I was trying to wear every day. And it possibly is because my big purse mentality tried to fit everything in the kitchen sink inside of it. So I do have the purse here with me right now. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. So it's still pretty good. It's still pretty okay condition. However, the sides, I don't know if y'all could tell, <laughs> are ripping off on both sides. One side is worse than the other. Um, and then this pocket right here, I noticed, I was like, oh my God, like one day I was looking for my lip gloss, which I usually keep right here. And I couldn't find it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I know I didn't lose my lip gloss. However, it was in there. It's just that, it's just that these sections had ripped on both sides and it fell into like the inside of the purse. So not a huge issue because that's on the inside. It's nothing cosmetic. It's something that I can figure out. But the straps is not something that I can fix. So I will say it did serve the price that I was looking for. I was looking for it just to last for homecoming, just to last for homecoming, something quick and easy. But um, it's definitely not for long term wear. It's definitely an in between purse while you're trying to buy something of higher quality. But that's that's kind of what I do for Shein. Shein is more just for me to figure out what my style is. Now that I'm going into a different chapter in my life, it's nice to figure out what I do and don't like. But other than that, it is a really cute um, purse if you're just looking for something to wear for a specific purpose without trying to make it an everyday sort of vibe. Now the last two things that I have are just some really cute nails. One is a set of red nails, which is actually what I end up wearing for homecoming because go dogs, gotta wear something red. And they're really cute. They were a little longer, longer than anything that I've done, but I'm not used to nails. But they were still really cute, easy to apply. Um, I will say it was hard to find nails that um, fit, or it was hard to find the design that I wanted to fit the nail that I wanted, which could have been just me being picky, but I was able to find some that fit all my nails and they lasted for about a week in so. But I use a different type of glue. I don't use the sticker that come inside of it. But it was really cute. I got a lot of compliments on my nails, so. It served its purpose. <laughs> and then the next nails that I got were just this orange set that I don't, I don't know why. And it, I looked, I thought I bought the wrong thing when I saw it in real life. I thought they sent, sent me the wrong thing, but they sent me the right thing. But for some reason I bought orange and I thought they were red. So I am gonna return them. Nothing on Shein is just for some reason I thought they were red, but they're orange. And it, it was orange. I look back at what I bought, what I bought was orange. So it's not their fault at all. But really cute nails. Y'all have seen me wear Shein nails on here before. I've worn it for my birthday. I've worn it for events. I've worn it for graduation. So I stand by Shein nails. There's something really cute for a girl like me who doesn't really like to go and get acrylics and doesn't really like wearing really long nails, but I could put it on for a quick event and take it right back off. So I love it. So that is the end of this Shein haul. Hope y'all liked it. If you like it, make sure you subscribe to the notification bell so you know the next one is coming out. Cause like I said, there is another one. I'm actually looking at two bags over here that I need to do 
a video on. I'm really excited about those, so make sure you get the notification bell so you know when those ones come out because they're going to be coming soon. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at I'm Silly G so you can see when I wear these and just the fits and the outfits and all the sort of stuff they all get posted on Instagram so you don't want to miss out on that. And remember when you're shopping on Shein to use my code US39248S so that you're able to save a little bit more money on every single purchase that you make on Shein along with being able to stack coupons for maximum saving potential. Tell me what y'all want to see next from me down in the comment section down below. And remember that I love you all so much. And my name is Sincerity Dree and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.